Yo, what's going on guys? Crispy Flakes. Hope you guys all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, my apology for no video on Sunday. Actually, my buddy Brock, we're in basketball noob, you guys might know him as, was actually back in town. Of course, uh, we grew up, you know, in Michigan and stuff. He lives in Texas now, so he was back for the weekend. So we ended up watching, like, the Avengers Endgame and also the new Game of Thrones. Just hung out with some buddies and stuff like that. So it was a really good day. A lot, a lot of emotions going through that day, too, was just between those historical movie and TV events. But yeah, guys, we are back at it today with another rebuild. Now, this rebuild is going to get kind of crazy. Don't get me wrong, man. Like, I'm going to explain here in a second. Before we get going, though, if you guys can do me a quick favor and drop a like on this video. Help me get to 1,000 likes. Only takes a second of your time. And honestly, my friend, it makes all the difference of the world. If you can just hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. So, yes, LeBron James, Golden State Warriors. That is the title of this video. Um, you might be wondering, like, yo, Crispy, why, how, how, how would this ever happen, right? Well, let me just say, I didn't think Kevin Durant or DeMarcus Cousins to the Warriors was going to happen either, but here we are, right, my friends? Um, but yes, yeah, so, basically, there's a lot of rumors going around that Kevin Durant is going to be signing with New York Knicks. A lot of the people in the Warriors organization also thinks this to be true. So, I was, like, coming across some different articles and just rumors of just good replacements for Kevin Durant on this team. And I thought about it, man. Like, I saw LeBron James... Um, listed a few times. I thought it made complete sense not only for the Warriors and LeBron, but also for the Lakers standpoint. Because let's look at this trade here that went down, man. Um, and also full disclosure, I did just go ahead and put Kevin Durant onto the Knicks because you know I don't want him to go to a different team that he would never sign with. That happens in 2K sometimes. But we're gonna be doing a sign and trade of Clay Thompson and Demarcus Cousins for LeBron James. The reason this makes sense, man, is because uh, you know, Clay Thompson has already shown interest in playing for the Lakers, and I feel like him being the shooter out there he is, combined with Lonzo Ball, would be fantastic. Also, Demarcus Cousin, he would sign a one-year deal worth about $10 million, but he would also have some options going on, you know, for the second, third, fourth year. Uh, you know, to assume, which would be more like the max contract range, just to assume that if he is back healthy, he will get his money with the Lakers. Plus, the Lakers get two fantastic guys to add to their young squad out there. I mean, you got Lonzo, Clay. Uh, you would have small forward position would be Brandon Ingram, power forward Kyle Kuzma, and center would be Narcus Cousins. That is a nasty starting five right there. But also, from the Warriors' standpoint, because we do know that over the course of this free agency, if they end up signing all these big-name guys out there, they are going to be paying roughly, like, it's in the billions, guys, like, over the next four years in salary cap to some of their star players. So, by doing this, you know, DeMarcus Cousins, Kevin Durant, off the book, yes, they do take on LeBron James' contract, but you know exactly what that is. And there's only two years left, and I do think there's a player option, though. You team them up with Stephen Curry, both guys that are, you know, over 30 now, and I don't want to say at the tail end of their career. I mean, LeBron James more so than Curry, but really two guys that know how to win the game of basketball and would actually be fantastic to play together. So, that's great. Um, you also got Draymond Green on the team now. I would probably assume he would be trade bait. Now, if he could get along with LeBron James, fantastic. But I don't know if that would work out or not. Just because, like, his defense uh, would kind of make up for some of LeBron James' lack of defense at times. So, that's really the only reason I see uh, Draymond staying on this team. But, for the sake of this rebuild, I might actually check out some trades out there. And then, really, the rest of the unit. Uh, a lot of expiring contracts. So, the good thing about this, too, is that you are able to build the team around LeBron and Stephen Curry the way that you need to. Because, like, like, like money-wise, there's still money available, you know, to get free agents. I think a lot of, like, veterans would sign the minimum to play for the squad. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm rolling through, guys. We're going to do, like, a two, three, uh, two to three season rebuild just to kind of see how this will play out. That would be kind of a fun idea to do. So, here we are, man. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go to the NBA draft because, of course, you know, like, being able to get a rookie in that first round, I mean, if you can get, like, a solid guy... Uh, that can be part of the rotation. That's a rotational player on a rookie contract. So, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Now, I guess what we could do here is we could see if we could trade up in the draft with Draymond Green. Like, that's definitely an, an, an opportunity because you're still on that rookie contract. But also, you free up that $18 million for a free agent. So, we'll check this out, man. Or maybe something else kind of pops our way. Montrez, that would be actually fantastic for us. Uh, we got Deion Waiters, Kelly Olenek, uh, Bogdanovich. Uh, we got a first-round pick in 2020 in Mitchell Robinson. Marcus Cousins right back from the Lakers. I mean, I would do that, honestly. But Evan Fournier, DJ Augustine. Not a bad little trade. Spencer Dinwiddie, Joe Harris. Uh, Spencer Dinwiddie would be nice off the bench for the squad. And then Joe Harris would provide this team with the shooting that it needs. Uh, we got the eighth pick from the Pelicans. And then, of course, Draymond teaming up with Anthony Davis. That's not a bad trade. I might actually consider doing that one. Uh, here we get Draymond Green and Andre Iguodala in exchange for Andre Drummond. You know, I actually do like that trade about uh, a lot, guys, because 
my big rant about Drummond is that he cannot really be like the number one or number two option in a championship team. But you put him in that third option role, you know, especially playing with a great passer like Curry and LeBron James, his game would excel beyond belief, guys. That's actually a really good fit, man. Like, that's the perfect role for him. Um, we got Clint Capella, same song and dance. Like, we look at Clint Capella does in a situation playing with Chris Paul and also James Harden. So, that's something to think about. Steven Adams, Andre Roberson. And then we got Nurkic and Emmer Turner. No, man, the, the, the pick looked nice, but I do think I'm going to try out this Drummond trade because I want to see how we could do in a team like this. And I think he would have so much fun, you know, playing for the Warriors and playing with those two superstars like that. Plus, Langston Galloway, it's like he's a serviceable bench player. Not absolutely amazing, but, you know, he does some things out there. He did to give up Iguodala, but, of course, the Pistons also get Draymond Green, Andre Iguodala, two defensive-oriented guys to help with their rotation, so that'd be nice for them. Uh, but here we go, man. It's time for our pick here in the draft. And we got Kevin Porter Jr., Romeo Langford, who I do like a lot. Uh, it's definitely going to be between uh, both these guys to be off the bench. But I think Romeo Langford might be the move. Mark Bellinelli, Troy Daniels, that makes him a fantastic shooter. That makes no sense. got D-minus three-point shot, but his floor and ceiling is three-point specialist. So I don't know about that one, man. Uh, Kevin Porter here. We got, I'm not going to try pronouncing that name. I am going to try. Sarandis Marcelunis. I think I said that right. Probably not. Gerald Green. Uh, he's got a bit of a better three-point shooter, 74. So, uh, he's a uh, shooting guard slash small forward, 6'5". A little undersized for the small forwards, but I guess in the small ball situations, he could probably run it. Uh, yeah, both these guys are really good. I think I'm going to go with, uh, give me Kevin Porter. I just, I, I like the fact he can shoot three better a bit. And he's also taller too, so just by an inch. But still, man, that one inch can make the difference, ladies. I'm just, <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Ugh. I don't know what I say sometimes. Sometimes I just say things. Uh, but here we go. Uh, next pick in the draft. <laughs> we got uh, Cam Johnson. We got Tyler Cook, Jerry Foster, Tremont Waters. Um, none of these guys are really going to play. So we might as well go with the best of it. We might as well go with Cam Johnson. Just hope it works out for us. He's a perimeter threat, so that's nice at least. All right. Rookie signings. Kevin Porter and Cam Johnson. This is a 70 overall, so we got that going for him. Uh, team player options, Sean Livingston. Oh, man, you know what? I'm going to decline it, and I'm going to try to see if I can possibly sign him for a cheaper contract or maybe just find somebody else. It's like, I do like Sean Livingston. I don't like him at the age of 33 as a 75 overall for $7.6 million. It's just not worth it to me, unfortunately, man. Uh, qualifying offers, Quinn Cook. I do like him for that contract, and Jordan Bell. Both those guys would be fantastic. Both would be part of the rotation also. Jordan Bell might be a backup center. I don't like him at power forward, really. Uh, moratorium period. Okay, so money-wise, I can't imagine we got too much going on here. Let's actually go to our cap holds and make sure that's all good to go. Yeah, clear that on Kevin Durant. I mean, he's not on the team anymore. Clay Thompson, DeMarcus Cousins. We might still have, like, some good money to work with here, guys. I mean, it might actually work out for us uh, nicely in the end. So, Bogut, yeah, just all these guys, we could probably sign back if we want to. And I guess, actually... Let's make sure we got no other uh, bitch-ass contracts. So, like, between these three guys, yeah, the money situation, it is quite a bit. But uh, I still think we got some wiggle room here to make some things happen. So, we are looking for the power forward spot and the shooting guard spot. That's kind of the goal here. And it looks like it's not going to be happening all too much in free agency. Uh, let me just check this out. Like, uh, Tobias Harris, could we get anywhere near affording him? No, we could not. Not even close. So, not really any sense looking at those ones. Uh, the shooting guard spot. A lot of these guys are extremely old, which makes me not feel great about this. Uh, Wayne Ellington, Kyle Korver. Yeah, you get down like that 74 range. I really don't want those guys starting. Uh, so I'm thinking Tyreek Evans would probably be our best bet. I mean, it's like, what's he got? He got a 74 mid-range shot, 78 three-point shot. He is 6'6", six, six, so defensively, I still think he could be something for us out there. Can handle the ball, making him be able to play on ball or off ball with Curry and LeBron. Uh, Danny Green would also be nice, um, but he's actually more expensive and older, so I can see his rating actually uh, dipping down a bit. Jamal Crawford, as like a bench guy, would bring him on the team, try to win a championship with us. But yeah, let me try to get Tyreek Evans, and I'm going to throw the contract also at Jamal Crawford. Very small one there. So, uh, we end up getting both those guys. That's nice. Let's get the moratorium period, see what else we got left to work with here. And okay, now enough for Tyreek Evans. So, we get Jamal Crawford. That's okay. He had like a 50-point game. That's great, man. Uh, so the four spot, we're going to make some trades. That's, that's what I'm kind of getting out of this, man. Uh, just guys, I don't want to start on this. You know way I'm not, like, Josh Smith's not doing that. Michael Beasley, he knows LeBron, so I guess we'll try to get him. Yo, let me get rid of this, uh, trade exception too, man. What's up with that? That wasn't there before. All right. 
And money-wise, still not doing good. Joakim Noah, I cannot imagine him teaming up with LeBron James. But at the same time, I mean, he's a 76 overall. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to go for him. Maybe, maybe if they were on the same team, they would actually work things out and be, just become buddy-buddy. It would be good to go, right? Probably not. Uh, Sean Livingston might as well get him back for the minimum contract. I mean, he knows the team. So, we'll do that. Okay, so we got Sean Livingston. Uh, besides for that, man, not too much else going on. Gonna check out some trades and everything like that. We got, we also got some, you know, some of our rookies out there too, which could be nice in the rotation. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season and check out some trades, you know, do some things like that. Okay, so this is what the team looks like so far. Definitely a lot of work to be done. I don't want a rookie to start on this team. Also, I don't want Jordan Bell starting. He can't space the floor at all. Playing him with Drummond and LeBron just makes no sense. Uh, bench units, okay, nothing exactly to go crazy about. We do got Joakim Noah out there, so I feel I feel like that makes Damian Jones maybe some trade bait for us too. So, yeah, looking for that four and that two guy also. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Trade Finder. We are doing a trade of, let's try out, you know what, man? Yeah, Damian Jones and Jordan Bell, see if I can combine both those guys together. I'll even toss in a future first to make things a little sweeter out there for the teams. And we are looking for a two or a four. And so far, these are not... Wow, these are just like trash trades, man. These are garbage. Like, come on, bro. Give us something better than that. Lucanar, not bad. But, uh, I mean, he's only a 75 overall. Yeah, those are not good trades. All right, let me try one with just Jordan Bell, I guess. And maybe a first. See what that gets us. We might have to give up our rookie, guys, to get the, like, to get the guys we want out there. Because we don't really got time to, like, wait around for this. So... Yeah, not good trades. Once, ooh, that's that's actually not a bad trade right there, man. That's a really good trade. That's a really good trade. Oh my god, man. That's like, it's so weird how you get like one amazing trade like that, and then the rest of them are just pure garbage. This one right here, man, uh, makes complete sense. Like, because Bogdan probably coming off the bench to be a scorer. Wayne Ellington could start at the five. I mean, he's a three and D type of player, so that's fine for us. So that's nice. So we got this going. For, okay, I guess they still want to start Kevin Porter Jr. Let me check out his stats here real quick. What does he do exactly, man? Uh, I, I might be okay. I mean, he's got pretty good stats, actually. You know what? I'm, I'm okay with it. And then, yeah, we'll use Wayne Ellington off the bench. Um, We also still got Jamal Crawford. He's only 74 overall, though. So we might be there to, like, just for, like, emergency situations. And we're still looking for a starting four. So, yeah, next we'll just do Damian Jones. Uh, I think I also tossed in Sean Livingston. And once again, another future first. Because I'm really trying... Okay, it's, I guess it's not going to let me trade another first. Um, so here we go, man. What else we got here? Looking for a stretch four on the team. Please, 2K. Give me somebody good, man. Jordan Belligan. Yeah, we just uh, we just been there, man. It's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Yeah, no good starting fours. What is this, man? It's trash. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Trade Finder. I guess we'll do it this way. And just, like, look for a four. What about, like, like a, a Jabari Park? He would actually be perfect, man. What do you guys want for Jabari? You want Andre Drummond? That's not going to happen. Okay, moving on from him. Uh, what about... It doesn't got to be, like, the best player out there. Just, like, a serviceable guy. You know what I'm saying, man? Just somebody that's okay. That's all I'm asking for. Kelly Olenek. Uh, I guess the four spot. What do you guys want for him, man? Uh, I mean, it's, it's kind of giving him a bit too much. Yeah, I really don't want to give up Bogdanovich because I feel like he'd be a nice scorer for us. But we might have to do something like that. Frank Kaminsky, he would fit the role, I guess. And no trade offers. Pretty good. Yeah, no trade clause. So no wonder. Uh, Jay Crowder, he's only a 76 overall. He might be a bit cheaper for us. And once again, Bogdanovich has to be given up. Not looking to do that, man. I don't want to do that. Anybody else? We got Booker. He's not really a good fit. Uh, we got Harris. I mean, he's on a four. What about we got uh, Marcus Morris Sr.? That would actually be really nice. And I'm not giving you Drummond to do that. That's so stupid, man. Why would I ever do that? Thaddeus Young, how about him? No trade offers there. Uh, check Diallo, not doing what I want him to do. It's not looking good, man. It's not looking good for the squad. I think we're just gonna... Jeff Green, come on, you're friends with LeBron. There we go, there we go. There... Okay, wait, that might be the trade. There we go, man. One of these, one of these. Which one? Michael Beasley and Jamal Crawford. That works for me, man. That works for me. Okay, so now we're looking at Curry, Porter, LeBron, Jeff, Drummond, Bench, Bogdanovich, Damian Jones, Wayne Ellington, and Sean Livingston. Gonna go with a nine-man rotation. That sounds good to me. It's not like the perfect team, but just the idea of having Curry, LeBron, and Drummond 
is completely fine. So, yes, we got our weaknesses, but we also got some big time strengths. Uh, let's go to system proficiency. We got a four and a half star system for the balance. And we still got Coach Steve Kerr. Guys, let's go ahead and simulate the season and see just how good LeBron and Curry would do as team members. Members of the team. Teammates. Teammates. Okay, so a record is 63 and 18. That is pretty damn good in the first season right here. I got a little afraid, man, because like the first like five games of the season, I was like one and four. And then the team just kind of like started playing better. So we got LeBron James getting MVP. 25 points, 9 rebounds, 10 assists, 1 steal per game. Uh, Zion as rookie of the year for the Cleveland Cavaliers. We got Chris Milton, a 6 man. Why would you sign Chris Milton and make him a 6 man? What team did he go to, man? Come on, show me, 2K. 76 is very interesting. Good fit for that team. Not as a bench player, though. Giannis as defensive player. Marvin Bagley, most improved. And Steve Kerr, of course, is coach of the year. Uh, All-NBA first, All-NBA second. Curry making that. And All-NBA third with Durant on that for the New York Knicks. We also got to see how that team did. So, uh... They are the third seed. We, of course, are the first seed. Let's go to the player stats on the season. And we got Curry at 28 points, 5 rebounds, 9 assists per game. Uh, shooting 46% from 3 as he does. And then we got LeBron. We know his stat line. Drummond, 14 points, 14 rebounds. You know, 1 and 2 steals, 2 blocks per game. Not really as to be a big-time scorer, but just kind of, like, focus on the ways that he scores the best. Right? It's like, no, no, no shooting threes or little ugly hook shots. Just playing on the inside, pick-and-roll basketball. Uh, Jeff Green was actually a nice pickup, man. He played a lot better than I thought he would. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. also, like, not like the sexiest stat line, but for a rookie on this team, being like that fourth, fifth option, that's uh, exactly what we needed to do. And then the bench was all good, too, man. No complaints at all. Also, let's see how uh, KD did over there on the New York Knicks while we're at it. So, 25 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. This is, they got RJ Barrett on the team, Dennis Smith. Very nice, very nice. Okay, first round, we do have the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, I don't see us losing the playoffs here, but at the same time, man, 2K really surprises me. So, you never really... Oh, my God, we lost the first game. Come on, guys. 2-1. It's looking good. 2... Got fucking tied series. 3-3. Three, three. Oh, no, 3-2. Three, 3-2. Two, three, two. Okay, 4-2. Sorry, man. Sometimes it starts spewing nonsense. Uh, all right, so 26 for Carl Anthony Towns. 39-14-11 for LeBron James. 18-4-5 for Jeff Green. Yo, where is Curry at? Oh, oh he's, he's, he's literally the third one on the list. I was like, where's he at, man? I couldn't find him. Okay. Uh, next up, Houston Rockets. Be a fun series to watch. And also, I, I really hope it's the Knicks versus the Warriors in the finals. That would just be perfect. But, you know, you got Zion, the Cleveland Cavaliers. So, instantly, they become a super team. Because that's how 2K is with Zion. But, uh, yeah, no problem whatsoever with the Houston Rockets. Swept them. 26-10 and 10 for LeBron. 22 for Jeff Green. A uh, 20 rebound game for Andre Drummond. Of course, 19 for Stephen Curry. Uh, next up, we do have the OKC Thunder, as also the Knicks did lose four games to one. Similar like current round here, man. Come on, let's get OKC. Let's get that championship. Ooh, it's looking good. Come on, man. 2-2, two, 2-2. Two, two, two. Come on, guys. Fucking OKC, man. Bro, choking Westbrook. Okay. 4-3. Uh, Look at Jeff Green go, man. He's making me a believer out there. Look at this stat. Was it you coming, guys? Okay, I, th I thought it was a 93 uh, midi. I was like, okay, that's kind of, I didn't know he shot the midi like that. But, uh, damn, this guy is going off for us. What's his playoff stats? I mean, he's averaging, like, around the same. But any, any game I'm seeing, he's just coming up clutch for us. All right, we do have the 76ers. As that's what uh, this series looked like over here. Oh, my God! Yo, got Kawhi Leonard? First off... Middleton should be starting at the two. You got a freaking bitch-ass rookie starting over him, man. I'm not saying Romeo Lickford is actually the bitch-ass of the person. And I'm also, like I said, I'm trying not to say bitch-ass as much, man, but it's a bitch-ass move you made. So, in theory, man, when you do a bitch-ass thing, and bitch-ass is the only way to associate it with it, you got to say the word bitch-ass, you know? So, I felt like it was a good use of the term, man. I felt like it was a good uh, use of the term. But still, Middleton should be starting. This is going to be a tough series, guys. I don't know if we're going to win this one. Let's go ahead and simulate with SimCast, see how it goes for us. Simulate the first game right here. And uh, not looking great. Not looking great whatsoever. But uh, we might get a man. Okay, we get him 125, 122. Jeff Green, man. Who needs Draymond? When you got, who needs Draymond Green when you got Jeff Green on the team, right? This guy's crazy. How Kawhi do? 36 points, 18 for Ben Simmons. Yo, let me see how this... Uh, somebody hit like game winning three or something. We got game log and we got... Uh, Wow, Porter. Okay, now how's this going? How's this going, man? Yo, a lot, a lot of crazy stuff happened in the final .5 seconds. Actually, way too much stuff happened. 
We're not, we won the game. Pretty much what I'm seeing. It's also somebody got a shot clock violation. All right, let's go ahead and simulate the rest of this. Simulate current round, man. See how it goes for us. Let's get it, man. 2 0 3 0 3 1 3 2 3 3. Would not blow the 3 0 lead. We're good. We won the championship, guys, here in the first season. LeBron James, your finals MVP. Let's go ahead and check out the stat line real quick. A triple double for him. Jeff Green, 14 30 for Curry, 18 and 10 for Drummond. Uh, I am going to try to go back to back, guys. I do have one more season left in me here, I think, you know, because, like, a rebuild like this, it's not so much like, it shouldn't really be much like a rebuild. It's just like, you're more like putting the right tools around the team, right? It's like, we're not really rebuilding the team. It is rebuilt in a sense, but I don't know, man. It's really hard to explain. It's really hard to explain. I really got to think of a new name for a series like this, where it's like, I do something where, you know, I put like two really good players together. And I just got to put the right guys around them, man. What, what should that be called? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, we are going to go straight to the NBA draft. I'm going to try to start to do the NBA draft for every single time. I know a lot of people get upset sometimes, like, second, third season, I skip over it. Just because, like, in my opinion, I feel like, you know, they're not going to be good enough, ahead, like, quick enough. Unless it's, like, a top 10 pick to really help me in that rebuild. But I'm going to try to do it more for you guys out there. So we got Nicholas Claxton. We got Ashton uh, Haggins right there. We got Mac McClung. Um, damn, this guy is 6'11", 7'5", Winks, man. What does he do though? He's kind of like more like a traditional four, so I don't really know. I don't really need him. Uh, we got Philippe here, who uh, he's a C plus. Marcos. We got Steven. We got Chris Smith, Nick Richards. Okay, look at me. Uh, I guess let's go with this Ashton dude. Let's try a new point guard. There we go. Welcome to the team, man. Welcome to the team. Okay. Can't promise we'll make the rotation. Seventy-two overall. Well, sure, why not? I guess we had a seventy-three overall starting in our lineup. Uh, but Drummond's back on his $28 million. Jacob Evans, Cam Johnson, bring both those guys back on the squad. Why not? Qualifying offers. Uh, really, Damian and Bogdan. I'd like to get both those guys back. That'd be great. Moratorium period. Anything going on here? Um, I mean, like, Bogdan, I'm going to throw him his money. It's like, I don't want to risk losing him anyway. And it's like $11 million. That's a good contract. Might as well lock him up for the three seasons while he's, you know, like, restricting and everything like that. And, yeah, we'll try to get him back. He's back on the team. Let's get on more touring period. Here's see what kind of money we got actually to work with. Because once again, like the tough thing about this free agency is going to just be getting like the lineup down and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, give me the dude whose name I can never pronounce. Belitza, I think is how you say it, but probably not. <laughs> probably not. So, we got him signed up. Uh, George Hill. He's 34, so definitely a bit older now. I mean, Quinn Cook. Might as well get him back, man. I'm, I'm okay with him. So, we got Quinn Cook. Uh, shooting guards. Yeah, give me, like, Ronnie McGruger, I suppose. Just a guy that knows how to score the basketball. He's not going to do anything really be beyond that. But at least be part of the team. Uh, maybe part of a trade, too. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm sorry to say that, man. Maybe I shouldn't be saying that during my negotiations. Like, yeah, you might be part of the team. Could also find yourself on the trade block. Uh, we got Damian Jones. We still need a backup center. Because Joakim Noah didn't play for us at all last season. Damian Jones was fine. So, I'm okay with him just being a fine center. But, yeah, man, that looks pretty good. So... Yeah, we got some new rotational players. For the most part, we got our, uh, you know, same starting five back out there. Jeff Green. I mean, I hope his rain does not drop too much being 33. It really shouldn't, but you never really know, guys. But here we go, man. I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season. Okay, so this is the team going into the final season. Trying out a new lineup. Curry at point guard. Kevin Porter at uh, shooting guard. Bogdan is actually going to start at the three, and LeBron's going to go to the four spot. I don't know how that's going to work out in the long term, but we'll see, man. We got Drummond at the five, of course. Uh, we got Damian Jones, Jeff Green playing backup small forward now because he was down to a 74 overall. When you put him at a small forward, he went to a 77, so I thought it made sense to run him you know, on the bench unit. Quinn Cook and Ronnie McGruger for our nine-man rotation. So, yeah, it's a lineup that can play a lot of different positions because, of course, Jeff can play the small forward spot or the four spot. Ronnie could probably play the three if needed. Damian at center, of course. So, yeah, man, once again, really nice-looking lineup for us. Uh, system efficiency going to go with the balance system yet again. And, yeah, man, not really any big-time changes to make. I think the scene is set. We just got to go out there, man. We got to just follow the course of action and see if we can become back-to-back -back champions. Okay, so a record of 59-22. and 22. One more game against the Dallas Mavericks. Now I'm also curious how the Lakers are kind of holding up on their end of things here too, man. But yeah, 60 wins on the season. Uh, LeBron James, another MVP award. He looks so just, just weird wearing a Warriors uh, jersey. It just doesn't feel right. But still, man, if it were to happen, I don't know. I think that would be... Probably more crazy than Durant joining the Warriors. 
more crazy the LeBron joining the Miami Heat. Probably the craziest thing ever to happen in basketball, I think is probably the best way to put it. But yes, all NBA first team, all NBA second, and all NBA third. So Stephen Curry making that. Durant still doing his thing on the Knicks. But yes, we have no Lakers. I don't think I've seen the Lakers at all here, man. And we got the Knicks also as the third seed yet again. Uh, player stats on the season. So we know LeBron stat line, uh, Curry 24 points, 8 assists. Drummond still playing great. He actually averaged 17 points, man. That might be his... It's not his career high. Yeah, it's not his career high, but it's kind of around it, man. Kind of around it. Still a really good season. Kevin Porter uh, keeps on getting better. Uh, Bogdan, he did okay. I mean, he was starting, so I was expecting his scoring to go up a little bit, but really just same numbers as last season, which is okay, man. It's like, at least he knows his role out there and he plays it well. Uh, let's go to the Knicks real quick. And we got Durant. We know we, well, we, now we know his stat line, but yeah, it's looking like that. Uh, then the Lakers team, we actually got Boogie Cousins playing some good basketball again, man. 21 points, uh, you know, 10 rebounds per game. Kuzma, Clay, Ennis Cantor on the team now, apparently. Derrick Rose, Brandon Ingram. <laughs> wow, Brandon Ingram, come on, man. 2K disrespects Brandon Ingram so much. Like, beyond proportion, man. It's just, it's really bad how much they uh, disrespect this guy. So, I don't know. You know my bitch ass head, I'm, there you go again. I mean, but it was a, it was a good, it was good to determine the word bitch ass man because i was gonna say my bitch ass hat is always getting crooked and i don't know why i think it's my egg shaped head combined with my horrible hairline all right here we go first round los angeles clippers simulate current round here come on man let's just beat them down beat them down man get freaking calm down, calm down it's all good it's just a video game right it's just a video game it's not video game ball is life and so is 2k and don't tell me otherwise 37-11 for Curry, uh, triple-double for LeBron, 26 for LeBron, or I'm sorry, for Andre Drummond, and Jeff Green, being a bench player now, just kind of falling off, man, he's just falling off, all right, next up, OKC, similar current round here, man, got game one, lost game two, come on, man, get past OKC, you got this, that's what Westbrook does, man, he chokes, not this time, not this time, we lose four games to three, or four games to two, I'm sorry, man, and Westbrook, of course, is the one that beats me, going 17 for 32, um, if I could do it all over again, what would I do differently this season? Jeff Green would have started, man. Jeff Green, I should have started the man Jeff Green in the finals because he was uh, he was a guy that was making the difference for his uh, last playoff run. So I should have done that. But hey, I'm so happy I won the one championship. That always makes me happy when I can do that. Also, like we got the eight seed Hawks in the finals. That's just insane. But it looks like the winner is going to be the OKC Thunder. Of course, it would be. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Also, 2K Gods, please don't team up with LeBron James and Stephen Curry, man. Haven't we not suffered enough? Haven't we not suffered enough with Durant on the Warriors? Please not put LeBron on that team. But at the same time, if it's just LeBron and Curry, that's not as bad. It's like, at least that would still be fun to watch. Because I still think that team, especially LeBron aging, could still be beatable. Um, but yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I'm thinking next video we got up. I have a video I want to do a uh, what if every player was a 40 overall with a 99 potential. I feel like that would be a fun one to do. Um, I also want to do something with Paul George on the Lakers. Like if you would have signed with them. Or a Clippers rebuild. I got all three of those thumbnails ready man. So you guys let me know which one you want to see next. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out guys.